Hello, Gemini. Welcome to Shared Ascensions. Thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate you. This is going to be your general yearly reading for 2022. I know it's early, but I wanted to go ahead and get ahead of it. Anyways, Gemini, um, any information you need, you can find it down below in the description box. I may or may not have personals open by the time you are watching this. If so, it'll be in the description box. I'm also going to be extending this reading over on Patreon for those of you who are interested. Okay, I'll be pulling some additional cards as well as some affirmation cards for the year. So um, let's go ahead and get started here for you, Gemini. All right. What are we getting for Gemini here? Also, I'm going over quite a bit of things here in this reading, so if it's not resonating, please feel free to stick around or skip around. You may find something that does, and since this is for the year ahead, you may not really know if it's going to resonate or not yet, okay? So let's see. Wow, starting off strong with the Empress here, Gemini. This is showing up for the position of yourself, your appearance, your environment, your personality. So this could be a year of a glow up for some of you. This could be a year of pregnancy for some of you, so keep that in mind as well, all right? What else is happening here? We're going to be clarifying this stuff as well, you guys. Okay, what's that? Oh my goodness. The Emperor. <laughs> the Emperor and the Empress out on the board here, you guys. Well, this is actually showing up. The Emperor in the position of your assets, your resources, your self-worth, your values, your finances, your spending habits. So you are on top of things here in the year of 2022. Um... But, you know, this, this could also represent a person coming in here, especially for those of you who, um, you know, already have interest in a person you may feel is like a counterpart or like a life partner of some sort. They have that potential here. Um, they could certainly be someone you value, all right? So let's go ahead and keep going here. I'm going to be clarifying after I get six out, okay? So we've got the Eight of Pentacles showing up here. I feel like you're working on communication. Some of you are working on communication with a Virgo, Aries, Taurus, Libra, okay? I also feel as if there's a lot of work being done every day. That could be why the Emperor is here showing up in, you know, your assets, resources, um, you know, spending habits, things of that nature. I feel like you could be doing a little bit of something new every single day here, okay? Um, especially because the Eight of Pentacles uh, is showing up in the position for like your daily routines as well daily ritual. So I feel like you're staying committed, staying focused to those, whatever those might be for you guys. Okay. Also, I feel like you're learning to master something here. What else is going on? Okay. All right. We got the page of pentacles here. Some of you could be receiving news about a home. All right. Or a new apartment, something of that nature here. There's, there's a chance for a new start. It's not really clear to me if you're taking this yet. Um, but it looks like there's a chance for a fresh start here for some of you. Okay. Yeah, for a new foundation here. I like that for you all. Let's see what else we get. We'll be clarifying that. Could be an earth sign offering you something new here, all right? The Eight of Cups. Interesting, this is showing up here. So I feel like some of you guys feel like something's too risky or it's just taken a lot out of you. Like it's taken a lot out of you. There's a space missing here on the stack of cups. I feel like you're going to be leaving that situation here, creating something new, all right? I also feel like um, your children could be leaving somewhere. I'm not sure if your children are leaving school or what's going on with this, um, but your children could be leaving somewhere, all right? Or doing something new, like they're off on a new journey here, all right? Or you're on a new journey here, uh, starting to have children with that Empress showing up for, for who you are. Um, especially for those of you who are parents, we've got the mother and the father out on the board here with the Emperor and the Empress. Um, so, you know, I definitely feel like there could be big changes uh, when it comes to family, children, okay? What else is happening here? I also feel like some of you could have been walking away from a romantic interest here in the um, beginning of 2022, okay? You just feel like it's not giving enough. All right, let's get one more card out here before we start clarifying this, and then we'll move on to that next spread. All right, we have the moon card right here. So I feel like there are hidden duties, okay? I feel like there are hidden obligations here. Um, we're going to see what's going on with that, all right? So let's bring these down here, Gemini. What's going on with the Empress? What's going on with the Empress up here for Gemini, the hangman? 
Oh, wow. Yeah, you guys have been really stuck to something or just feeling like you're in the same spot for a really long time here. You've got all major showing up, all right? So a lot of self-work is being done here. I feel like you have felt really stuck in this loop of healing traumas. You know, with that hangman, it can represent a stuck energy, an energy of sacrifice. With the magician being here, some of you have felt like you've sacrificed your gifts, your talents, your skills. You wonder where you would be if not for specific traumas or sp uh, specific dark experiences here with that devil card. Um, but the magician is your card. I feel like you're stepping into that energy in full i almost feel like you're embracing that devil like you are just welcoming it as it comes in and you know you're, you're learning how to deal with it you're learning how to manipulate that energy uh, to your advantage that's what the magician is he's somebody who can manipulate energy that's not always a bad thing um i feel like you are making magic out of this you're um you know improving a lot you're breaking out of um, really dark cycles here so i like that for you guys let's go ahead and look at that emperor what's going on with that emperor Go on with that emperor here for Gemini for 2022, please. We're getting the judgment card, okay? We're getting the nine of cups. Somebody here could have Jupiter in Pisces, possibly, okay? You don't have to, but you could. Page of Wands. All right. Some of you are really in a space where with judgment showing up here, I almost feel like you're in a space where you're really disciplining yourself when it comes to your impulses, the things that you want to buy here, the things that you want to spend. I also feel as if um, for some of you, there's going to be a new start with an individual you're already involved with. Okay. Um, there's more support. Okay. There's more support and there's something to do with a new passion that's backing this support. So the two of you may have a new idea here. Maybe you're going to start something together. All right. Um, but th there's a big decision on the table here is how that feels to me. And it's going to bring you a lot of joy. It's going to bring you a lot of fulfillment, Gemini. So I definitely like that for you a lot here. There's going to be a lot of self-growth here as well. Like that's going to be something you're never going to forget here. I feel like you are learning um, tactics in the year of 2022 that are just you know, there's something that are, that are going to work long term. You know, I feel like you've been um, struggling with, um, you know, like how to battle that devil, whatever that devil is to you. And I feel like you're learning how to embrace it. And although it's not going to make uh, anything really go away, you know, our work is never really done. I feel like this is the smoothest it's, it's getting for you here. So I like that for you guys. You're able to make magic out of that energy. So really, let's see what's happening here with the Eight of Pentacles. happening with the eight of pentacles ten of swords wow seven of wands And the Six of Swords. Okay, I like that. So there is progression, okay? There is progression, but I do feel like there is a lot of fatigue. There's a lot of exhaustion here with something like trying to get a point across or trying to, maybe it's you who's trying to understand the point of something here. Um, but all these swords stabbing him in the back here, Gemini, I feel like at some point you're going to feel a little bit exhausted with something in the year 2022, uh, trying to understand it, trying to get through it. It could even be that devil energy here. Um, I feel like you've already gone through that. I just feel like you're, you're trying to recover from that um, in a way where you're able to still use um, you're like you're able to um, you know live up to your fullest potential is how that feels like it feels like you keep trying to reach that and, it, and it's hard to do that with that devil energy pulling you down so some of you that's something you're finally putting an end to for others of you if you're in school I do see you um, you know, passing something here with that seven of swords, six uh, or seven of wands, six of swords. Seven of wands can be a card of leveling up, passing a test. You've got that six of swords, which is progression for movement. Some of you, this could be a sibling for a small portion of you, maybe another Gemini, maybe somebody with Mercury in Aquarius or Mars in Leo. But I do see you um, leveling up when it comes to something you've been working on. Some of you, you have felt blocked when it comes to communication. I see communication running smoothly now where it used to be really exhausting trying to get some, trying to get through to an individual here. I feel like that's something that's going to be going very smoothly now. It could be an earth sign. Let's look at this one. What's happening here for Gemini 2022? Some of you are being offered a home here. So I don't know if this is a family member offering you a home here. Wow. Two of Cups, a compromise, a negotiation, a meeting, a deal, okay? 
showing up here very nurturing individual this could be a mother it doesn't have to be your mother okay it could be somebody else's um, but we have cancerian energy with that queen of cups somebody wants to do you a favor they want to help you with something they want to help you build i feel like this person is genuine okay um that they, they see something in you that they see in themselves okay they, they don't want you to struggle with something here so they're wanting to help you with the world card showing up um i feel like there's there's some kind of title here they're like they're passing something over i'm not sure if this is a position if this is um like, like a title i don't know if this is a vehicle um i don't know what this might be here for you guys truthfully but i feel like somebody's passing you over something and it's going to be really big okay it's going to be really big it's going to help you out a lot so i like that for you let's see what else we have okay some of you, there could be a move with that world card. The two of cups, there could be some kind of negotiation. You could be finding a roommate here for some, but I feel like a genuine person is coming in to help you out. Let's look at that eight of cups and see what's happening with it. What's happening with this eight of cups, please, for Gemini 2022. The death card. Yes, definitely an ending here. You're definitely leaving a situation behind. For those of you where this isn't the case, there's something involving your children here where they're leaving something behind. They're having a fresh start here. You've got the high priestess, Pisces energy. Something is just, it's not making sense to you. It's like, this is not clear to me. Things are not adding up. This is not giving me what I need. So bye. Like that's the energy that I feel here. What else is happening with this? It feels like a romantic interest to me. It could be a Scorpio or a Pisces. Some of you, there's been secrets here and you're like, no, I'm not dealing with this. What else? What else are we getting with this? One more, please. One more. Okay, there we go. The nine of wands. You don't trust it. You don't trust it, and rightfully so. I feel like something's gone on here. There have been some secrets is how that feels to me. Um, and I see you walking away from that situation entirely. For others of you, I do feel as if you may have children who are wrapping up some lessons here with the high priestess and the death card and the nine of wands. Um, I think that they may have been struggling here. If, if they're struggling like academically or something of that nature here, um, I feel like they could be wrapping that up or they've struggled with wanting to end something and they're leaving that situation is how that feels to me. Let's look at the moon, okay? Let's look at the moon what's happening with this these cards are really shiny you guys i'm sorry i meant to go do something with that light over there to see if i could get it to not do that um so what's going on here with this energy the page of swords yeah there's something you weren't aware of here Okay, it looks like it's going to be a good thing, though. Um, there are hidden duties, hidden obligations. I feel like this is really going to bring you a sense of, a new sense of fulfillment, a new sense of purpose. It could actually be what ends up putting you in that Empress energy. You've got um, the Page of Swords. You've got the Chariot. You've got the Page of Cups. There's something here that's inspiring you to learn with that Page of Swords energy. That's somebody who is um, curious. They're observant, okay? And I feel like you could end up starting a job here where there could be some hidden duties or things that you didn't really see yourself doing. And I feel like whatever it is that um, you're doing here that you didn't really know was part of this like job description for example i feel like that's something that's really a huge stepping stone to what it is that you truly want to be doing like this is going to be something you enjoy i definitely feel that okay it feels like a hidden path here you're going to take a little bit of a detour but i feel like it leads you uh to exactly where you want to be you know with that page of cups energy it's like you adapt to this and you know it, you just kind of go with the flow of things and then the chariot like you are led to something that's very inspiring for you so i like that for you here gemini let's go ahead and um, clean this up and get to the second portion, okay? I also feel as if some of you, I'm not a doctor, but you may want to watch out for the ankles, like lower extremities there, okay? The feet. Some of you could also be getting a dog in the year of 2022. second you guys I'm going to use the other deck for the next round here now while this deck is a little bit too shiny the other deck I'm using is a little bit dark so just bear with me you guys I meant to fix the lighting after I did Virgo and I forgot so let's go on ahead and jump into the rest of it here Gemini Okay, let's see what we have here for you. 
The Nine of Pentacles, okay. Card of Financial Independence, Stability, okay. So some of you, if you are in a business partnership and things are not going very well, I see you kind of breaking off from that. For others of you, this could be an actual connection here you're breaking off from. You could be a little bit tired of whatever's going on there within that situation. Somebody's not prioritizing you. They're just not giving enough to the situation, okay. Some of you, if you are in, you know, connections that are more long-term, that are more stable, um, you know, I do feel as if uh, that you could be gaining a new sense of stability. Like, I feel like there could be um, improvements in your finances here. What else is going on? Yeah, two of cups. Some kind of help is coming in, you guys. I'm telling you, some kind of really good opportunity here that's really changing the game for you with that two of cups, okay? I feel like you're reaching a new level of intimacy with the person, okay? Oh, King of Cups. If you're a writer, um, if, you, if you are a writer or a musician or something of that nature, something may get published here in uh, 2022. Something may end up getting published, like something that you're creating. Um, it's getting a lot of attention, all right? I also feel as if some of you are becoming more comfortable with the darker side of emotions where maybe before you were more in, you know, I can't be sad, I can't be angry. Maybe some of you were in that kind of energy where you weren't really, you didn't really understand the benefit of being in those emotions and uh, learning how to work through those. Um, but I feel like that's something that you're learning here as well in the year of 2022. What else are we getting here for Gemini? I also feel like somebody really different could be coming in in love, and this person could be from, they could be from somewhere else, okay? So they, like, they could live across the country. They could live in a different country here. King of Cups is someone who, this, this could be a Virgo. Virgo had something similar right in this position. Um, you know, King of Cups is somebody who does live an alternative lifestyle. Um, this is somebody that is a little bit eccentric, I feel. Could be a Scorpio, all right, or somebody who has Venus in Cancer or Venus in Virgo. Let's see what else we have here. The Ten of Pentacles, wow. Work, career, um, your reputation, the way that you're seen by the public, like this, that, that is going to be huge for you guys this year, okay? There are a lot of blessings coming in in regards to that, all right? Again, you guys, I'm telling you, I feel like this is going to be a year that you just don't forget. Like, you're learning new things that are just going to last long term. Ten of Pentacles is something, um, you know, that's going to last long term. Let's see what else we get here. The Pentacles represent uh, permanence. Let's see. Five of Pentacles. Some of you are leaving a friendship behind here, okay? You're leaving a friendship behind or you're leaving like an organization, a group, um, something of that nature. Like you're just not in alignment with it anymore. It's bringing you down. It's lowering your vibration. It's like there's a group of people or there's, um, you know, a belief system or something perhaps. I feel like you're going to be abandoning that here entirely. You're realizing that it's putting you in a mindset that makes you feel like you can't achieve, all right? What else are we getting here? Also, we game for Gemini. All right, we have the full here. I feel like you guys are breaking out of karmic cycles here. Like, this is showing up in the position of things that you are undoing, okay? This is also like an escape. These are your dreams. These are um, hidden emotions. I feel like you guys are finally giving in to what it is that you truly want. You're taking risks here. So, let's go ahead and clarify a little bit, all right? Also, don't forget, you guys, that we'll be moving this over to Patreon, and I'll be um, getting into these topics just a little bit more over there, okay? Um, well, we got the Ace of Cups and the Four of Cups. Interesting, yeah. I feel like you guys, I'm telling you, you're leaving a situation here. You're leaving a situation so you can find fulfillment elsewhere. This is just not fulfilling you, okay? It's just not, there, there's someone here who's not supportive, like they don't listen to you. Somebody here could have their moon in Cancer, all right? Uh, this could be a water sign you're dealing with, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Um, but I feel like you are just in a space where you're trying to cleanse your energy, and there's just something really low vibrational dragging you down here, Gemini. I feel like this is going to be a huge change for you. It's going to be a huge adjustment, all right? What else do we have for this? 
but I do feel like you are finding genuine love, genuine happiness, someone who, you know, balances things out here, someone who gives what you are giving. Like this is equal give and take. This is um, cause and effect. What you put in, you're going to receive back. This could be a Libra for some of you, but I feel like you are just cleansing yourself of energies that bring you down, um, that keep you stuck. He's sitting at the root of that tree there in that four of cups. It's like somebody keeps you um, at the very bottom, you know, uh, or they give you the bare minimum. That's the kind of energy that I get from this. It's like they give you a cup and it's totally empty. You know, that's the kind of energy that I feel here. Like you're looking for someone um, to fill your cup the way that you're pouring into theirs. That's the energy that I feel here. And I definitely think that you're finding that absolutely. Okay. Some of you, like I said, I think you're breaking a contract with that justice card. This could be a divorce for somebody here, but I think you're breaking um, a contract here with that justice card in business or work. All right. What's happening with that two of cups for Gemini 2022? We're getting the Nine of Swords showing up here for that, okay? What else? The Moon. Hmm. Pisces, Cancer energy here. The Ace of Wands. I feel like you're healing some heartbreak here, okay? It could be with the person. Like I said, I feel like there's something more intimate here. I almost feel like, Gemini, you could be going through something really, really difficult with an individual here. Um, it's almost like the two of you, you're going through, it's a shared trauma, okay? It's a shared trauma is how that feels to me. Like you're grieving over the same thing here. And I feel like that could be bonding you in a whole new way. For others of you, it's like you... You're just getting to know someone on a deeper level. Level. You're getting to know what triggers them, what hurts them, why things are happening the way that they are, why you're communicating the way that you are, for example. Um, but that moon card there, I feel like you're getting to know someone's deeper emotions, their darker emotions, and even your own. And you're learning how to reflect on those as well. And I feel like you're becoming more intimate with the person. Like there's just more intimacy. And I feel like there's just a spark that some of you, a spark is going to be restored. But others of you, like a flame is ignited here. So let's look at the... Um, King of Cups. So some of you, I feel like that could be a new connection. Others of you, I feel like it's just a new level you're hitting in um, a long-term connection. Let me get a drink here, Gemini. How about this King of Cups here? How about this King of Cups here for Gemini? Seven of Wands, leveling up, beating the odds. Like something about you standing out here. You're being chosen for something, all right? Others of you, I feel like you're no longer resisting certain emotions that maybe just don't feel comfortable. This could have something to do with childhood. Six of Cups. We got Scorpio energy here again, all right? What else are we getting here for this? Also feels if your experience stands out, okay? Your experience with something stands out. Some of you where you are, uh, artists, creators, musicians, writers, whatever it is here, um, I feel as if you could be expressing your experience here through whatever it is that you do. You're receiving an offer because of that. Like you're touching people, you're moving people. Like that's how that feels to me. With that Ace of Pentacles, you're receiving an offer because you're being like raw and real and genuine. That's the energy that I feel. For others of you, I feel like, again, you're no longer blocking out these emotions here. And I feel like because of that, like you're, you're clearing out blockages, okay? You're not putting out this energy of, I need to block that out. So that energy is not coming back to you, okay? We've got the Ten of Pentacles right here. Let's look at this. So I definitely feel like some of you could be um, clearing financial blockages here, Gemini, by dealing with energies and moving through them instead of like, you know, turning your back on them and feeling like, no, I can't touch that. That's low vibrational. That's the kind of energy that um, I feel you could have been in is just not really wanting to address those emotions and you do have to step into them to move through them. So let's see what's happening here. I think you're realizing that. Two of Swords, Moon and Libra. Somebody could have their Moon and Libra or Mercury and Virgo. Maybe Mercury and Taurus. What else do we have here? Eight of Cups. Some of you have felt shut out or just not valued in terms of what it is that you do for work, okay? Um, like your career or your job. Like you've just maybe not felt very valued, okay? Or you've not felt very seen by others. You've not felt heard by others, okay? What else do we have here? 
I think you, you're also like walking away from the old you. Like you're leaving something behind here. What else do we have here? We've got the Nine of Cups. Yeah, absolutely. It's like there's something that's not fulfilling you in that Eight of Cups, obviously. Um, all of the cups aren't there, so you're choosing to leave that situation. And then you have the Nine of Cups. Like you're walking towards fulfillment. You're only one away from the Ten here, okay? So yeah, I like that for you guys. Because I do feel as if where, where you've not really been feeling heard, I feel like that's the energy that you're walking away from. You're like, well, I'm going to go somewhere where I am heard, where I am valued, and I am seen and recognized. And I feel like that is what happens with that Ten of Pentacles. People see your worth. They see your value. You, you're celebrated, okay? They give back to you. You're able to build here. Give me the Five of Pentacles, please. What's going on with that energy? I think this could definitely be what you're walking away from here, Gemini. Just, yeah, people who are not supportive, all right? And you're walking towards people who are, and like there's this newfound confidence about you. I think that's why the Empress could have been showing up for the way that you were viewing yourself, for the way that others were viewing you, for your environment. Like things are just blossoming all around you. There's abundance all around you in 2022 because you choose to leave this energy behind. That tower is something, like I said, that's going to be a huge change for you. It's going to be a drastic change in comparison to whatever it is that you're used to, which I feel could be this chaos, okay? It could be that Five of Pentacles energy. I think you're used to somebody dragging you down, keeping you stuck, putting you in a rut. I think you're very tired of it. You've got that page of pentacles right here. So um, yes, I feel like it's going to be a really drastic change, but uh, getting rid of this is going to set the trend for a long-term stability. You're headed towards a new support system here. Again, you guys, this is going to be something that you will never forget because that tower showing up there, like that is a foundation completely crumbling. This is something that you built on and you thought it, it might uh, last, you know? And I don't feel that that's happening here, but that's okay because you're finding something that does, okay? And I do feel as if for some of you, you know, whatever foundation you were building here, it was like it put you in an energy where you weren't as confident as you used to be. It's like instead of, it's not only that it didn't better you, it made you worse, okay? It made you worse towards yourself. And you've got the Queen of Wands here. This is somebody who's confident, bold, fearless. Um, you know, she, she has a backbone. She'll stand up for what she believes in. And I feel like that's the energy that you're moving back into. You're slowly finding that in yourself again. And you're moving away from that energy that makes you feel like you have to abandon that or hide it away because you don't, okay? You got the full card right here. So let's see what's going on with that. What's happening here with the full card for Gemini? You got the six of wands. Absolutely. Victory, recognition. This is somebody who's being celebrated. He's being honored. He's being recognized for something here. Definitely see you guys being celebrated in the year of 2022 here. Okay, you've got the five of wands right here. I feel like this is after defeating some kind of competition here. Like I said, up here, it seems like you are uh, beating the odds. Like you stand out. He's holding that one wand and he's pushing down all these other wands here. It just seems like you are up against a lot and you defeat that here. Okay, so let's see what else is happening with this energy. You're able to escape conflict. Or you're able to escape um, something really... Something that a lot of people who are in those situations aren't able to escape is how I feel there. I'm only getting one out for this, so that's how I'm setting the intention here. So give me one, please. Seven of Swords. Absolutely. You're able to find a strategy. You're able to see your way out of a situation. Traditionally in this card, Gemini, um, his land was invaded and he had to come up with a strategy to get back everything that was taken from him. And that's what I was seeing with that devil card, uh, clarifying that empress. You know, I've seen that pattern show up a lot here. Like you were robbed of something very early on and you're learning how to get that back. Okay in the best way that you can, all right? You're learning acceptance. You're learning how to heal. You're learning how to appreciate yourself. Cut out energies that don't appreciate you. And I love that for you guys. Like, there is nothing better than, than learning this, okay? So I am going to clear this up over on Patreon. I'm going to pull some more cards. I'm going to pull four affirmations for you for the year. So if you all want to join me up over the, join me up, join me over there, um, the information is going to be in the description box. If this is where we part, though, Gemini, thank you all so much for watching and supporting me. I greatly appreciate you, and I hope you all enjoy your year. Bye.